And when we return, a final word. Well, Lloyd, this truly is the end of an era. You've been delivering the news since I was barely more than a boy. You've been doing it for so long and so, so authoritatively. You've almost become part of Canada's geography. And I know that Canadians from coast to coast are going to miss you. On our part, Lorene and I want to wish you and Nancy all the best as you chart a new course in life. On behalf of the NDP and all Canadians, have a great retirement with friends and family. Thanks again. When Canadians think of Lloyd Robertson, they think of one word, and only one word, integrity. His word is everything. He is authenticity. He is authority. He's a good-humored guy. He's a great Canadian. He's a great broadcaster. And dare I say it, he's a good friend. And so we come to the end. And it couldn't happen at a more fitting time than the beginning of September 2011. It was 35 years ago this month that I agreed to come to work for CTV, and Harvey Kirk and I teamed up for a successful seven and a half year run. During that period and since, we have had the usual ups and downs in the news cycle from natural disasters to royal weddings. And I am deeply grateful to the many of you who have stayed with us through it all. For me, it's been a rare privilege to have been able to serve in this position for so long. It's been a front row seat to history. If someone had told me 60 years ago this would be my life, I would have said they were crazy. Most of all, it's been fascinating to watch our country grow in confidence and stature. We have developed a unique place in the world. We can brag in that modest Canadian way, of course, about our AAA credit rating, about the success of the Vancouver Olympics, and look forward with some assurance that we won't have to undergo the near-death experience of another Quebec referendum. Thank you a thousand times over for all of your touching messages, some that speak of watching through the generations. There is the woman from Ontario who tells me that as a student, our familiar opening music would take her from studying at 11 o'clock to join with her parents for the newscast and discuss the events of the day. She now does the same with her own children. Without her and people like her, I would not have been around for so very long. And it's not false modesty to say that I am only the most visible member of a highly skilled and thoroughly dedicated team of news, production, and technical professionals all around me here and out beyond. I can simply never offer them praise enough. The CTV National News with Lisa Laflamme begins on Monday. I will see you along the way. And that's the kind of day it's been this Thursday, September the 1st, for all of us at CTV News. Good night. CTV News, Canada's number one newscast.